show about a Jewish guy named Don Stein. In real life, he writes for a magazine sometimes. But now he's got his own cartoon show on VH1, which they hope will be a hit because they sure need one. And even though the show has got sort of a sitcom feel, there's a band and some celebrities for more appeal. Joel likes to ask him questions that'll make him squirm. Sometimes he gets punched out, but Joel never learns. Hey, Joel, what do you know? You got your own show. Try not to blow it, cause if you're not funny, then you'll soon be gone. And they can fill the time with some more Lenny Kravitz songs, then you'll be back in obscurity where you belong. Hey, Joe. And now, Joel with his special guest, Mr. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce. Your music's been there for me through so many milestone moments. When my parents got divorced, when I lost my virginity, although some would argue that donating sperm isn't strictly losing your virginity. Well, you know, each of us has got to find his own way to leave something behind when he goes. Yeah, that's what I told the nurse when I handed her my New York Rangers souvenir cup. Uh, does VH1 know you're in here? What? Do they know you're in here using their equipment and everything? That guy, Hugo, with the suits and the three haircuts a week, does he know about you? Yes, Hugo's my boss, but... Not the way you are. By the way, how do you stop your sleeves from unrolling? Tape them back? We did it, guys. Season one is wrapped. How should we celebrate? I'm going to take one of those nuclear decontamination showers. Did Z say anything about renewing us, Joel? No, but don't worry, Kev. I am supremely confident. What have you guys heard? Anything? Please, please tell me. Congratulations, Joel. Great season, huh? Congratulations and goodbye. You know what they call this in baseball? A rebuilding year. It's not about this season. It's about next. Unfortunately, Joel, there won't be any next Good season. Good show. Great show. <laughs> and they laugh at me for getting three haircuts a week. Well, the boss didn't laugh. He gets it. Joel, that interview was revealing, stunning, and the audience learned that Springsteen knows me. And that's what I call a network. Thank you for your faith in me, Hugo. And yours. America. I'll be looking forward to a lot more like that next season. Congrats, buddy. You're renewed. Uh, Hugo, maybe you and I should talk about that? Got a lot to talk about. We have to raise this little guy's profile. A fourth minute. It's so close, I can taste it. Better. We're gonna dust off Project Televisionary, the show that brought you to VH1. We can't run that. It's tied up and legal with HBO. Remember, they said we ripped them off? Got it covered. Here's our defense. How can you copy another television network if their slogan is, it's not TV? Smart, huh? Project Televisionary? I'd forgotten. I'd repressed. You, you're a control room monkey on this show, right? I prefer supervising producer, but yeah. Monkey, I want you downstairs right now, editing Project Televisionary into a one-hour special. Something classic, classy, evergreen. So then you'll be rerunning the crap out of it? I like the way you think, Bonzo. We make you a household name, and then you come back with a new season, interviewing people like Sheryl Crow, Bill Clinton, Michael Jordan, Tom Hanks. But Mr. Hugo, sir, those aren't all music celebrities. Yeah, but they've all been to my house, drunk up my good cognac. I just know you'll teach me and my neighbors a lot about myself by talking to them. Wow, Joel, the show's coming back. I've never come back to anything before, if you don't count the sperm bank. Maybe we can think about sprucing this place up a little. Spruce! Spruce! Up here! Here's a tactless yet apt moment to say I won't be around for season two, Joel. I'm ready to move on. Move on? Especially if they're resurrecting Project Televisionary. So that's what all those calls from the Maxim channel were about. You're gonna model soft core? Michelle, for shame, can I be your photographer? I have an interview there today for a producer's job. But we've always been the team. You're kidding, right? Check out those Project Televisionary tapes if you think we're a team. None of us would want that stuff aired. Not even if we were really self-deluded about our talent and appeal? Nope, not even Joel. That's what they said at the sperm bank. This creepy place is where they've kept the Project Televisionary tapes locked up? Yes, where no one would ever look for them. The VH1 New Music Department. There it is. The origins of Joel Stein in all my glory. This is a Eureka moment. I don't know, Joel. Maybe Michelle's right. Maybe we should walk away from this. Michelle? That Maxim Channel muffin head? It's just you and me now, Kev. Lean back and savor the past. Lean, Kevin. Lean. Stupid chair. Hello, I'm Lenny Kravitz. 18 months ago, VH1 offered a total unknown the chance to make TV history by creating his own show. It was a dream come true, especially if you dream small. 
but we cover it up for that by giving it a really big name. Welcome to Project Televisionary. If you've always thought you should be on TV, we can turn that sad delusion into reality. Someone out there must have some good ideas for shows. So send us what you've got, cause we sure don't Lord knows. And if your pilot's decent, you might get a whole season. The workload is intensive, but for us it's inexpensive. Doesn't matter if you're crazy, hooked on drugs or talent free. You still might be a winner on Project Televisionary. It all started on a corporate retreat. Me, Hugo, Leaf, Lenny Kravitz, and the intern Hugo always has filming these things, so no one has to put down their glass to take notes. Lenny the K is making this retreat. Great idea inviting him. I just found him here when I unlocked the cabin. I guess we've stopped trying to come up with new ideas for shows. Drinking blizzards, I like mine with a twist. Hey, guys, this doesn't sound like some other song, does it? Not at all, if you don't count Pinball Wizard. Don't you worry about that, Elle. You put your own stamp on it by recreating it note for note. Well, our hotel didn't have HBO, so we were all missing the last episode of Project Greenlight, that show where they gave someone a chance to make their own movie. Suddenly, some righteous bro up says, hey, let's just do that. I remember my reaction. You're just gonna steal something, put a twist on it, and then say it's yours? I can dig it. Long story short, a month later, we're back at the same hotel looking at tapes of our finalists. Can we please get back to work here? This tape's got promise. Sweet kid named Kevin Cornwallis calls his show Rock Hunt. It's about Courtney Love? Cool. Rock. Hunt. Oh. Hi. My name is Kevin Cornwallis from Atlanta, GA. You should come down sometime. We'll take good care of you. Um, you know that wasn't a bribe, right? I don't want to get disqualified or anything. Anyway, I'm here at Eudora Welty and Robert E. Lee Primary School where Bill Wyman has set up a card table to sell off parts of his extensive collection of Rolling Stones memorabilia. Mr. Wyman, can you say a little about your former bandmates? Maybe take them one by one? One by one, eh? Hmm. It's been a while. You do remember them, don't you? Oh, sure. Let's see. Uh, there was that fancy, fancy guy with the microphone and socks in his crotch. I called him Love. And the skeleton, almost dead guy, he was named Skell. And we had a drummer. His name was Drummy, I think. And that was the Rolling Stone. Um, Stones. Huh? These are all the same. People interviewing over-the-hill musicians, feeding them questions they've heard a thousand times. You'd think that was all VH1 ever does. Look, Hugo, you go for different, you always end up with somebody like the fish guy. Fish guy? I love it. Compelling, unusual, face of the millennium. Z, good call. No, watch. The whole tape is him hassling Billy Joel's delivery men. Don't stonewall me. I have been raising tropical fish since my fifth hamster died. And you mean to tell me Billy Joel knowingly mixes aggressive emperor angels in with helpless small tetras? Does the man have no heart? Uh, I think he owns two different tanks. Hey, you! What'd I tell you after you made the bagel guy cry? See? The guy's a total loser. Which is why he'll fit right in at VH1. Plus, I have a tank of tropicals that gets like a slaughterhouse. Maybe he can help me out. Fish guy wins! Fish, Fish guy wins! wins. Fish guy wins. Are you nuts? That Kevin kid's smart. He's personable. He clearly likes the musicians. Yeah, but in TV, doesn't the smart guy always work for the moron in front of the camera? I never heard that, broa. P.A. Cheryl, you ever hear that? Wait, she's not here. P.A. Cheryl, never mind. Lenny's right. Fish guy wins. Fish guy wins. Fish guy wins. I guess we could make Kevin a P.A. Z always told me my tape had missed the deadline. Z always told me she hired me for my Maverick celebrity interviews in the underground press. Z lied. Michelle, what are you doing here? Maxim Channel interview over pretty fast. Went well. Good, good. Okay, I can't believe it. I even flirted with the guy. Wow, you live with your mother and a bunch of other guys? How cool. But they won't hire me until they see a reel, and I can't show them your show. Because it's just three minutes. No. Oh. So I thought there might be some scene on the Project Televisionary tapes showing me as a capable, dedicated producer. Michelle, it's a reality show. Drop dead. Yes, I'm... 
Joel, the elation when we found you. Someone with a fresh take on celebrity Q&A. We were all screaming, fresh guy wins, fresh guy wins. Now we've handpicked a production team to give you all the support you'll need. Michelle used to produce VH1's Morning Block, Get Up and Move Your Bowels videos. Why aren't you doing it anymore? I never actually made it to the studio before the show ended. And Kevin here, well, the truth is Kevin doesn't have any experience at all, but he's willing to learn. I entered the contest too. Uh-huh, good for you. By the way, who is that woman? She's our boss, Z. She's in charge of our show. You've never spoken to her? No, I just got an express mail letter saying be here 10 o'clock Monday morning. Actually, it was priority mail. One other thing, Joel. Everyone at VH1 really does two jobs. Boy, did they play me. I'm as stupid as they said. Who said? Leaf called Joel the dumb one. He called me the smart one. Oh, Joel. He's a negative indicator. Whatever he says, the opposite is true. Really? Really? Sure. After all, Kevin, who's working for who? Gotcha. You're not stupid, Joel. Now start the new tape. It's the button marked play. Play. Some days, you'll come into these production meetings, and I may just need you to watch me think. Michelle? On those days, will we or won't we be doing a show? A production. You have a thought there? I think with a daily show, it's good to do them daily. Good, great! You obviously joined this team because you share my vision. I was rotated into your vision, but whatever. After watching the dailies for a while, we came up with a game. Anytime anyone said the word vision, we'd take a drink. I've been playing game for 30 minis, broa. Game rules! <laughs> uh, I have been called a visionary. I don't think it's true, but... Kevin? I had a thought on cool questions for the celebrity in our pilot. A thought? Or the kind of network interference that's gonna kill my vision! Your constant meddling is smothering me! Air! I need air! I guess he doesn't want to hear my other suggestion, that his first interview could be Billy Joel since they sort of know each other. Do you think that's a good idea? Mm, it's okay. All right. I've recentered. By the way, Joel, what do you think about Billy Joel as your first interview since you've already had contact? Brilliant, Michelle. You are a team player. Maybe we could discuss my vision for interview questions over dinner. Love to, but I'm, uh, getting a cyst removed. How about if you guys come up with a bunch and fax me while I recuperate? So we headed off to find Billy Joel at this charity baseball game. And 